Good morning, students. Today we are going to start with the repetition of the new chapter. That is last chapter of your organic chemistry for this year. Okay, especially this is what biomolecules. Okay. So this biomolecules chapter carries seven months before. We don't know this year how much it carries because we won't get any blueprints till it. So it carries seven months, sorry, six months, one month, one question, five months, one question. That is compulsory. In five months, it is two plus two plus one. Understand? So students, you know, this chapter covers the carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids, okay, and also uh, what are those vitamins, enzymes, okay. So all are removed from the syllabus. Only the main three topics are covered for you. But in the what is the thing? While like doing this chapter, I explained everything. But for repetition, I'll consider only the retained portion. So carbohydrates are there, okay? And then the biomolecules are there. Carbohydrates, proteins, and nucleic acids are there. Except that amino acids are removed, vitamins are removed, enzymes are removed, okay? So those are not in the biomolecules. So based on the retained portion only, I'll give the important questions for you. So the first one is carbohydrates. In this carbohydrates, the first question is structure of glucose. So before that, before structure, you take preparation. Preparation of glucose. Second one. Structure of glucose. Means elucidation structure of glucose. Third one. Avac structure. Or before that you take the okay. Avac structure. Next, the fourth one is pressure of glucose, structure of glucose, have a structure. Next, preparation of glucose, preparation of glucose. Okay, next the second one here is proteins. Okay, so in the first one, classification of protein, classification of proteins, second one. Structure of proteins. Third one. The nature of proteins. Okay. Next another one is nucleic acids. Like that, of course. Organic DNA. Their structures, their functions, everything. Okay? So, students, this is all about the retained portion of your syllabus. Okay? So, reason in this carbohydrates, classification is there, types is there, like monosaccharides, disaccharides, polysaccharides, like that. Okay? And at the same time, Except glucose and fructose, some other structures are there like maltose, galactose, lactose, and sucrose. 
and polysaccharides like cellulose is there, starch is there, okay, glycogen is there. But that is all, all polysaccharides, that is disaccharides and polysaccharides came out from the syllabus. I won't repeat it. If you want, you can re watch the videos what I did while doing this chapter. I won't repeat it here again. Like okay, so I'll only go through the retained portion. So this one classification of proteins, the structure of protein, denature of protein, and the uh, denature of protein means how the protein chain will break. Next that's one is nucleic acid. What are nucleic acids? So types is only two types. One is RNA, another one is DNA. Their structure, their function is very important. Okay. So this is all about the chapter that we are going to study. About. These are the important questions. We will discuss with one by one. Okay. What are saccharides? Polyhydroxy. Polyhydroxy. Hydrocarbons. Polyhydroxy. Okay, hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are called as carbohydrates. Means so much of OH groups are there. Polyhydroxy. Hydroxy means OH group. In this carbohydrates, so, so many OH groups are there. So the polyhydroxy, monohydrocarbons are called as well. carbohydrates. They are also called as saccharides. Why they are called as saccharides? Because the word sakkar means sugar. Sweet in taste. So these carbohydrates are nothing but having the property of sugar, means they are sweet in taste. That's why they are called as saccharides. According to Greek word, saccharide means sugar. These groups, carbohydrates, are called decomposition or anything. They give what sugars. That's why they are called as saccharides. The classification also done like monosaccharide, only one glucose unit, or only one type of unit. Smaller units. Okay? Saccharide means a smaller unit. Monosaccharide means if only one smaller unit is possible, it cannot be divided into any saccharide units, any smaller units further. That is called monosaccharide. And disaccharide means, for example, sucrose will be Listen, glucose C6, H2O6, and C6H2O6. This is what glucose, this is fructose. These are examples for monosaccharides. Means which cannot be separated. So which cannot be decomposed into smaller units again. But if you take lactose, that is C, C12, H22, O11. Upon hydration, they form C6, H12, O6. Okay, you take instead of lactose, you take maltose. Maltose means that is two molecules of glucose. And sucrose you take. So it forms C6H2O6. The formula is C12H22O11. Upon hydration, again they give one is glucose, another one is C6H2O6. Oh. C6H2O6 that is fructose. Means these are the disaccharides because these are made up of two monosaccharide units. Here two are glucose, here one is glucose, another one is fructose. Or upon decomposition, they give two different monosaccharides. 
So this is example of a disaccharide. Similarly, polysaccharide like starch, cellulose. Okay, so those are H C six H eleven O five. Sorry, H ten O five. So this is how many types? N types plus N H two O. Gives rise to N C six H one O six. So assume this one is starch. Then this will be the glucose. Are you getting? Means so many monosaccharides together form a polysaccharide. That is not nearly n is equal to hundred to three hundred. That much of monosaccharide units repeatedly arranging in a series manner. Okay, they form a polysaccharide. That is starch, maybe cellulose or glucose. Then this upon hydration they form a n number of smaller unit that is it is starch means the smaller unit is glucose here that is called polysaccharides trisaccharides are there so there means it consists of three monosaccharide units tetrasaccharides consists of four monosaccharide units pentasaccharides consists of five mono monosaccharide units okay that is classification but that classification is removed As I told you, these disaccharides and polysaccharides are removed from your syllabus, so we will discuss only with the monosaccharides. Okay? But for your knowledge as well. So in the the first one is what preparation of glucose. Okay? First one is preparation of glucose. Preparation of this glucose from starch. Before starch, you take sucrose. The formula of sucrose is C six H twenty two eleven. Okay. Sucrose is heated with dilute HCl or dilute H2SO4 in alcoholic solution. Dilute HCl or H2SO4 in alcoholic solution gives glucose and glucose. Okay, so glucose is so glucose is C12H22 or so here we using acids. Okay, in presence of Alcoholic solution. Here we are using dilute acids. Here dilute means, of course, the addition of water molecule takes place. You know, concentrated H2SO4, dehydrated H2O. Dilute H2SO4 used to add a water molecule. Here water molecule is added. Then take plus H2O here. Then it is one is C6H12O6. That is glucose. Another one is C six H two O six. That is fructose. This is one method of preparation from sucrose. Sucrose is heated with dilute H C L R H two O four. Now, what is the solution? Gives glucose and fructose. So another one is from starch. So starch is C six H ten O five in lamps. Okay, so this starch of one hydrolysis starch of 
on hydrolysis. This is instead of making you take one drink. Starch comes on hydrolysis with acids. And heated. Heated up to 393 Kelvin and 2 to 3 atmospheric pressure. Forms. Forms. Glucose. Means the formula of that is C6 H10 O5. So N time to this N number of H2O is added. So when hydrolysis means addition of water in presence of acid, okay, uh, under 393 Kelvin temperature, 2 to 3 atmospheric bar pressure, the condition. Then they form N number of C6 H2O6 that is glucose. These are the two methods of preparation of glucose. Okay, so students we studied the preparation. From that we came to know C6H2O6 is the molecular formula of the glucose. But we don't have the structure of glucose. And so, so Fisher was the scientist or some other scientists, so many scientists were done this and they suggested a structure for the glucose. So we will discuss with the elucidation structure of glucose. So initially I will write the points later and explain the equations. Okay, so listen. For the elucidation of structure of glucose, we need uh, some reactions to prove. So, initially I'll write the reactions, later I'll explain because these reactions are important for two months. Each reaction, particularly they will ask. They will ask write the elucidation structure of glucose. They won't ask like that. They particularly ask different reactions involved in the elucidation structures. Okay. So let's then the first one is the molecular formula. First one is the molecular formula. Second one reaction with H I K. Reaction with hydrogen and H I L. Reaction with hydrogen and H I L. The fourth one. Oxidation in presence of bromine water. Fifth one, acetylation acetylation. Next sixth one. Oxidation with nitric acid. Okay, and the last one is the okay. These reaction tells about the structure. Okay, this is the sixth reaction tells about the structure of the compounds. So the structure of especially glucose. One is molecular formula, reaction with nitric, reaction with the hydrogen and nitrogen, oxidation in presence of bromine water. Acetylation and oxidation with HN3. Okay, listen, we will discuss one by one. The first one is 
molecular formula of glucose is C six H twelve O six. First one is done. Molecular formula. The molecular formula of glucose is C six H twelve O six. Next second. Reaction with H twelve. So initially I am writing the reaction here, students. Okay, what are the so heating glucose with H I? This glucose is heated with H I. Then what happens? So I simply take the structure. Here we don't know the structure. Simply I am writing, or you can simply take. C six H twelve O six. So upon heating in presence of H I, upon heating in presence of H I, therefore C H three C H two C H two C H two C H two C H three. Means when glucose is heated in presence of H two, they form N H three. Okay, so this second reaction, this reaction, this reaction confirms carbon atoms. Or in a straight chain. So from this reaction, we can easily see the C six H two O six. Whatever the C six atoms are there, the six carbon atoms are in a straight line like this. This reaction confirms carbon atoms in a straight line. The first one is confirmed. Okay, then third one. Two reactions are there: reaction with hydrogen and HCl. Okay, so glucose, I write here, glucose reacts with hydrogen for oxygen and. Reacts with HCl from cyanohydrate. So I just write the structure of glucose like this. That is CH two, CH OH four times CH two OH. This is just an assumption. Still, we don't know the structure of glucose. Okay, because carbohydrates are polyhydroxy compounds. So CHO, CHOH, CH2OH. So here, if it is treated with hydrazine, that is NH2, double bond NH2, NH2 double bond NH2. So if so. Not hydroxyl with hydroxyl only. Hydroxyl only. Okay, not hydroxyl. That is hydroxyl only. So this is this is NH four. And this we get the hydroxyl amine. It forms, listen, C C H O H O times and C H two O H. So the reaction takes place here. Means C H O. Here water molecule is formed from this. They form C double bond.
CH double bond yen OH. H2O is removed from here. Ready? Here H2O. CH yen OH. And it is oxide. Of course, I go here. This is oxide. This is one reaction. Another one is what? The same. CHO. CH, NH, four times, and CH2, NH. So when it is treated well, get the same thing. Then what happens? It forms C, CH, NH, four times, CH2, NH. They form cyanohydrin. So this is means that it is double bond O H. So this HCl is dissociated as H plus and Cl minus. If it is shifts here, it will get the minus charge. This will get the plus charge. Correct? Then this is CH double bond O. So this will get minus, this will get plus. Means negative species attached here, that is CN, and which is attached here, that is OH. This is cyanohydrin. Okay, this is cyanohydrin. Okay, so here two reactions are there. Glucose reacts with hydroxyl amine, gives oxide, and the and same glucose reacts with HCN, gives cyanohydrin. What the reactions are taking place at the end? At this position. That means this reaction, this reaction confirms, confirms presence of, presence of carbonyl group. Remember? This only confirms presence of carbonyl group, not aldehyde group. Are you getting? So carbonyl group means this one. It may be present in aldehyde, it may be present in keto, it may be present in ester, carboxylic acid, anhydride, etc. So this reaction, third reaction only tells about what? Confirms presence of carbonyl group. Still we don't know that is the aldehyde group. But for elucidation, we are writing this. This is a, just an idea. Are you getting? Okay. So we cannot see these structures. But uh, they right. So in this, in the test tube or any uh, in the laboratory equipments, we are taking glucose. Glucose is in a liquid form. For reaction, we are taking like that one. Glucose are solid in nature, of course. But we will take glucose solution. Okay, to that solution, of course it is transparent. If we add anything, we cannot see which is going to be alkyl. So from this reaction, when we add this, we got alkyl. When we add LCN, we got cyanohydrate. From that we can easily say, of course the double bond O group is there, that is carbonyl group. And we cannot say whether it is hardly ketone, carboxylic acid, etc. Okay, then these are the three reactions. From one formula we, we got, from second one, we came to know all the carbon atoms are in a straight chain. And in the third one, we came to know one carbon atom is a carbonyl carbon atom. Consists of one carbonyl carbon or a carbonyl group. Okay, next. So, listen, this type of individual reactions are important. Means, give the reaction which confirms all the carbon atoms in the glucose are in a straight chain. Then you have to write the reaction with HN. So then as give a reaction to confirm there is a carbonyl group in a glucose molecule. Among these two, any one of the reactions will add. Like that, they will ask individual reactions, they are gonna ask. Not complete elucidation structure. Actually, this is there for MSC for 11 months. 
For level marks, only one question: elucidation structure of glucose. All this one. Two, 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 two. How many? Ten marks plus one. Level marks. Are you getting? Next reaction. So this is the next oxidation in presence of bromine water. Okay. So the fourth reaction here. C H O. C H. O H four times C H two O H. This is for oxidation in presence of bromine water. Oxidized glucose is oxidized in presence of mild oxidizing agent that is bromine water. So then what happens? It changes to C O O H. CH four times CH two. This is what glucuronic acid. This is okay. How do you write glucose? Oxidizes to glucuronic acid in presence of bromine water. Okay, so here this group, okay, this oxidation reaction complete. This reaction. Conforms the carbonyl group. Carbonyl group is aldehyde group. An aldehyde. So this reaction conforms the carbonyl group. What we conformed before by reaction with C and by reaction with hydroxyl amine. That group is what an aldehyde group. That is. Conformed by this reaction. So the next one is fifth one. Acetylation. Okay. Acetylation of glucose with acetic anhydride. That is the reagent. Gives glucose penta acetate. So it will be structured here. This one, our glucose CHO, CH2, CHOH, CH2OH. This is four times. So when this is treated with Acetic anhydride CH three CO twice O acetic anhydride. So we I write the complete structure here CH three C double bond O O C double bond O C. This is what acetic. And write, right. and write the complete structure to explain. So students remember, it will play like this. Then this is with the minus charge. This is with the plus charge. This is OH minus. This is also OH minus. This will get plus. Then write here. It is CHO, CH. This OH group is replaced by this group. What it is? O C double bond O C H three. Here it is four times, and in the in the middle, this OH is also replaced by O C double bond O C H three plus four five C H three. So this will be required in five marks. Why? Because five OH groups are there. 
So from this, what we are going to confirm? So this reaction confirms. This reaction confirms presence of five OH groups. Presence of five OH groups. Five hydroxy groups are present in the glucose molecule. That is confirmed by this acetylation reaction. Okay, so this is also important for two marks. This is also important for two marks. Remember. Next, the last one. Oxidation with HNO3, that is the last one, means glucose and glucuronic acid both Oxidized to saccharic acid in presence of nitric acid. Both are oxidized to what? Saccharic acid, glucuronic acid, or glucose. So, students, glucose structure is CHO. CH OH four times CH two OH. This is glucose. Next CH CO OH CH OH four times and CH two OH. This is what glucuronic acid. So both undergo oxidation in presence of HN3. Therefore, what? Saccharic acid means COOH, CHOH twice, COOH1. So, this is also COOH already is here, CHOH four times, that is CH2. So students, from this we can easily see the two groups are free here. The first and the last hydrogen atom having the free OH group. Okay, so this is about the structure, the elucidation structure of the gluons. So now by considering these reactions, the sign is Fischer give a structure that is called as Fischer projection. Okay, next. What is the structure? Fisher structure of Fisher structure and glucose. So listen, from this we came to the molecular formula C6 H2O6. This is an XA that is straight chain. From this Carbonyl group from this aldehyde group. Okay, from this we came five OH groups. From this we have three OH groups. Okay, so from this reaction we can say so listen, glucose has a straight. Chain structure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 carbon atoms are in a straight chain. Of course, each carbon is doubly bonded. Okay, so in this.
One is the alternating group that is CHO. You may write it as C double bond O H chance. And here I say this CH2 OH. We know it. The next one is that is OH H. Here it is OH H. Then OH H. OH. So this is the structure of. So students here, from this structure, we can easily say, of course, the aldehyde group is there. Then it should give and it should reduce the tolerance reagent and filling solution. But when this glucose is there, to that glucose, when we have tolerance reagent or filling solution, it cannot be reduced. Means when the tolerance reagent is added, there is no formation of the silver mirror. If the filling solution is added, there is no formation of red precipitate. That means what? Of course, aldehyde group is present, but that aldehyde group is not free. It is cyclized. How? So listen, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon atom. So this 5, carbon 1 and carbon 5, these are yet cyclized by the removal of water molecule. How? So listen here. Then take so here we consider this carbon one, two, three, four, five, six. This is CH two point. And take this CH four point. Listen here, this is CH OH. Okay? Hydrogen here. So this is OH, H, H, OH. This is OH, this is H. So double bond H. So students from here H, from here OH is eliminated. So listen here. This one is plus, this one is minus. And this hydrogen is attached here. Then this is balanced. Then from here, H2O, H, this is here. So H is here, then hydrogen is here. Are you simply taking for B plus one, if I write C double bond O H here? Here, OH and H. Remember, this H is bonded here and a cyclization takes place between them because they are in a cyclic manner. So, if, I, if we write the exact structure here, so I simply write this is. This one is OH, this one is H, so they get cyclized by the oxygen. Remember, so OH is present here initially. This H is shifts to carbonyl carbon under here. Here is it. Here, H, this H is bonded one, here, OH. H is same, this is same. The oxygen is not. That is cyclization. If it is entered, that is called as alpha D plus glucose. So students, if the same reaction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, same cyclization takes place between the first and the fifth carbon atom. But the thing is, at this carbon atom, the position of OH group is different. Then it is beta D plus glucose. Are you getting it? If uh, I don't say group one right hand side, then that is alpha. If it is at the right hand side, then it is beta. These reactions, so the structures are important for proteins. Based on that, we can write.
the Haber structure also, but about that Haber structure and discuss in the next class.